So this is uh, Pinch Gut Opera's spanking new Baroque Contra Bassoon. Um, we call it Bassoonosaurus because it's the, the biggest bassoon I've ever seen. It's a copy of an instrument uh, from 1714, which was made in Germany. Um, uh, the instrument is made of uh, European maple, so exactly the same as the uh, sides and the back of a violin or a cello. Uh, it has five brass keys and uh, it plays an octave lower than the normal Baroque bassoon. Erin, our artistic director, said to me uh, in the middle of last year, what do you think about a Baroque contra bassoon for Theodora? And I said, well, hang on, let me think about it. Yes! So we decided to have this instrument commissioned. It's the only one of its kind in Australia and probably the Southern Hemisphere. Um, it, it began, I guess, the process began with uh, musicological elements, uh, scholarship, and now we're turning that scholarship into performance. So it began with Erin and myself and my colleague Brock Imerson uh, doing the research into the instrument. Then we commissioned the instrument from uh, the Guntram Wolf workshop in Kronach in Germany. Uh, the Pinch Gut um, heroes, who are our supporters, um, got together the cash to purchase the instrument. And now the only thing that remains is to uh, put it into performance to so that Australian audiences can hear this thing for the first time. The logistics are quite interesting of playing this thing. It's very, uh, it only weighs 5.7 kilograms, but it's very unwieldy. Uh, the balance is quite strange. The instrument comes with its own stand, which certainly makes things uh, easier. But uh, even so, for someone little like me, uh, it's, it's, it's quite hard work. <laughs> Handel was one of the first composers to specifically call for this music. Uh, he, he asked for it in the fireworks music score, um, for example, and we have uh, decided to use it in our production of Handel's Theodora at the end of the year. So this is very much in keeping with the style of uh, period performance in Handel's day. You won't necessarily hear it as a separate sound in the way that you would with a higher pitched instrument, um, such as an oboe or a trumpet they'll be able to feel the instrument more than they'll be able to hear it. The, the fact that I can feel it in the core of my being when I, when I play a note, it's really thrilling.